Good morning and welcome to Sunday, which is also shift number seven out of eight days for me. <sighs> Since last Sunday, I have had one day off, which has just been crazy hectic. Also, my hands are a little stained today because I touched up the green last night. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Cause you know what? We gotta make do with the time we have and if it was staying up until one scrubbing the bathtub because it looked like I murdered a gremlin, that's what had to happen. Anyways, I am exhausted and um, it has been hectic and crazy and I think the last time I picked up the camera was Thursday and a lot has changed since then. So like two or three weeks ago, I'm not really sure Time was weird right now. I don't know if I'm coming or going or whatnot. My boss from Blind Child called me and we were talking about uh, rates for content creating and stuff like that. And he asked me if I had any time off between then and when I go out to Blind Child for the summer. And I laughed at him. <laughs> and I was like, well, I have a Tuesday off here. I have a Thursday off here. I was like, well, I have a Monday and a Sunday off here. And he was like, just a Monday, a Sunday? I said, yeah, unfortunately. But then I was looking at my schedule the other day and I work Saturday, but I should be off like pretty early on Saturday and I can move some shifts so I could technically have a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. And on Wednesday, they're back in town so they could just drop me off at work in the morning. And so I reached out via email. I was asking my boss, my other boss about Starlink and I mentioned, that conversation and how I might actually have some days and then I emailed my other boss and immediately he was like yeah that sounds great like we could use you because it's long it's a long weekend we're gonna be short-staffed I'm pretty sure this summer so yeah once again the insanity of short notice and a short trip is gonna hit us because in six days I'm going out to Blind Channel and the thing is because we're getting closer to when I'm going out for the summer, I want to, you know, bring some stuff for the summer that I'm going to need. I want to do like a decent grocery shop so I don't have to do a massive one when I get out there, etc, etc, etc. So fortunately, I only work five out of the seven days this week. So I think Wednesday, I'm going to go up to storage and get like um, my totes start packing clothes, go grocery shopping. And then also I've made plans to like play video games with people off stream and stream with people this week. So that should be fun. So it's just gonna be hectic. I think I'm gonna take the following week off in its entirety from streaming because I was thinking about doing that anyways and just like relax <laughs> when I get back from Blind Channel. But yeah, it's just been crazy how quickly things have been changing lately, like just nonstop. <laughs> I, I did ask to get my room that I'd usually use for the summer locked so nobody else can get in there because staff should be showing up soon. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> um, and also I mentioned like three days in June that I could potentially go to Blind Channel. And I was like, I don't know if it makes sense though because like logistically it's in an awkward time. Like I think I would have to leave Monday and I'd have to be back for Thursday or Friday, I can't remember what it is, and my boss, and, and it's like the week before I leave, and my boss was like, if we can make it work out with logistics, I think it'd be great, and I'm like, really? So anyways, our exhausting May and June just got a little bit more exhausting. But now I'm thinking I should probably get to work because as I say, as we say, as they say, but it's really just as I say, the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave and then probably have a nap. I am home now. Today, you know, at the theater we have these things called advances, so you know the schedule on the day of a show. You know who's showing up when, uh, what they're doing at any given time, and today my boss decided to completely disregard that schedule and let the artists in half an hour beforehand without giving anyone the heads up. So it made me look like an idiot who couldn't get my job done in time because they were there like I planned things out based on this advance and it made one of my other co-workers look like she couldn't get stuff done on time because she was setting up hospitality which should normally is set up and she doesn't have to deal with um 
like them being there, but they were there and then they just, they were everywhere in the theater and trying to get stuff done and they're just like, hey. It was very frustrating, 100% frustrating. Especially like after being tired and grumpy because I'm out of 11 days, I have one off. <sighs> so yeah, anyways, two more days to go. Then I get a day off and then I work two days, three days. No, I work one off one work and then up to blind channel and then immediately back to work, like literally getting dropped off at work, like I mentioned. So anyways, we got stuff to do. I have to send an e or a message to somebody who messaged me like two days ago and I was like, I cannot deal with, with you right now. Um, <sighs> stress, but I'm wearing my super cute frog pond hoodie, which is very exciting. I also built a couple more products in last night because I was thinking like a hoodie or even like this, this, I guess this is a crew neck, um, but with the color pattern on it, I was like, I need that. Like I would love that in like a white or a black. Yeah, I'm very excited. And I've got my leggings on. We just being very cozy today because we grumpy. Um, <laughs> so I think the plans for today are to send that message and finish up with uh, the merch. I think it's I think it's done. I just want to confirm because I was doing it like super late at night. Um, and then put away, hang the clothes that I, I washed yesterday. I, I put everything away that was folded. And I've got garbage that I need to take out and editing that I have to do. And I want to sew scrunchies. <laughs> it's fine. And I want to like start working on the whales because I would love to be able to bring like a couple whales out to Blind Channel when I go out on Saturday. <laughs> Overachiever! That's where we're at. I just like lost footage. An entire day's worth. I'm confused. It wasn't on the GoPro card and it didn't transfer to the folder that it was supposed to go into. And you know what? I'm really tired. I don't even care. So anyways, we're editing. <sighs> and we're sleepy. But I'm feeling super adorable. And with my glasses on. Mm-hmm. I think the plan is to try to sew the scrunchies tonight. There's so many of them. We'll see. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, oh, yeah. But I already know. Alrighty, hello. <laughs> it's been a while. It's like 20 after 10 now. I edited the one vlog, got the second one ready to edit, and then fell asleep for about an hour. I just climbed in my bed. I was like, Phew. it wasn't a great nap, but it was a nap. <laughs> I don't think I've napped since actually like last Tuesday. And, and with it's, I should be napping more, but I got the sewing machine out now. I just finished the green ones, which I'm excited about because they're a little more frayy than like the um the quilted the quilting cotton, which is all that I have left now. So I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure this is quilting cotton. I'm very excited to work on these. My my goal and hope is to get all these sewn into the tubes like this. Um and maybe even flipped before I go to blind channel. But also I wanna sew a couple whales before I go to blind channel. <laughs> I need to like pause. I need like click, you know, the movie click. I need to like pause. But anyways, um, it's 1020, like I said, so I'm going to try to get into bed for midnight because if I climb into bed for midnight, I should be out pretty quick because I'm quite tired. Tomorrow's another day at work um, and a stream day. Oh, I also launched my merch store, which is very exciting. Um, I will link it down below, even though by the time this goes live, it'll be like almost a month <laughs> since I launched it. Um, but I will link that down below in case anybody wants some fun merch or just to check it out. And um, yeah, all good things. A little tired, but in good spirits. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just trying to monitor everything. Just trying to monitor everything. My health, my mental health, my physical health, which ain't great. And then just like, you know, balance. I don't know. 
Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep sewing, see what I can get done in the next hour and a half. So I do this thing where I'll turn off my lights when I'm getting ready for bed, but then when I turn off my computer, I get confused and I turn my lights back on because I think I should be turning them off. It's okay. Anyways, there is my massive pile of scrunchies that need to be flipped. These are the ones that are flipped. Those are the ones that are threaded with elastic. We are in multiple stages. It's also one o'clock, so I missed 12 by a very long time frame. And it was gonna be a little bit, but the episode I was watching ended on a cliffhanger, but it wasn't actually a cliffhanger. It was just a funny little thing at the end. A crocodile escaped. So I was sad. I was sad about that. Um, but it was a good episode. But I'm gonna climb into bed now. Got work tomorrow and then the next day. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hopefully we continue that when um, I go out to Plant Channel and stuff. It's gonna be crazy. And um, I will see you in the next one. Good night.